Hey guys, Dom here. Um, I made a video earlier, uh, a few weeks ago, about this PC, and um, it was 26 minutes long. So let me bring you on a tour of like a five-minute long uh, video of my uh, PC build. So this is obviously the Level 10 GT by Thermaltake. Um, very nice case. It's worth the money if anyone's asking. Should definitely buy one. It's fairly easy enough to mod, just like any other case. It's fairly easy to mod. But so, as you can see on the side panel, I got two triple rads with uh, six uh, Entermax Polish Vegas uh, 120 millimeter fans on. Um, they're on the on configuration right now. So let's, let's bring you around here. So to mount the rods, you can see that it's like I uh, cut the music square square and uh, wings to uh, give me room for the air to mount since the rods are pushing against the side panel. And right underneath here is the holes I cut for the tubings and for the fan wires to go all the way through inside the case. What I did on the front is uh, I put my case badges, you know, for my motherboard, CPU, and video cards. The L LG Blu-ray burner, uh, 12 speed, size case master, six channel fan controller up in the front. Here's what I did here on the front panel. These are uh, there's five hot swappable bays right here. I had cut these little crossers like you can see here. It was all these across. I cut them all, so now it's. Uh, Looks a bit better aesthetically. It looks better to my eyes. I also installed these uh, LEDs with uh, an LED uh, LED strip from uh, Turnigy, which they make uh, model aircrafts uh, stuff. So there you go. That's them on the top. So it looks like the normal GT case by Thermaltake. So I'm using the fan controller for the front fan, the rear fan and the top fan. I took the USB 3.0 out since uh, it had a USB 3 header which I don't have on this motherboard unless I buy the black edition of it. LED uh, change for the color shift fans. It's just like a tray to put whatever, hard drive or whatever you want to put there. Alright, so here's the side. I didn't use a headphone hanger, I just used a Bluetooth uh, headphones. Another case badge here from a, it says ATI on it, that's why I put it. A, here's my side panel. I got a ridge sticker on top. This is actually capped, so you can't put your fingers through there. Everything's functional, the lock still functions. And I got my uh, Republic of Gamers uh, sticker on the side panel. You can see inside of it. Lots of video cards and stuff, lots of reflections, so without further ado, let's open the side panel. As you can see on the inside, it's very clean cut. And you can see a bit of the thickness. It's almost an inch thick. So the window is not an inch thick, but just uh, the contour I put, so it looks, uh, so it matches uh, the thickness here since it sticks out. Alright, the rear fan's not on, I don't know why I have to dig it apart, so I'll try not to move too much, but here you can see my uh, Corsair Dominator GT round. Alright, those are uh, CL9 timings, and that's a 2000 megahertz kit. For CPU, I got the EK Water Blocks uh, Supreme HF CPU Water Block, cooling my uh, Intel Core i7-990X Extreme processor. I also um, added the, the motherboard water block for the ASUS Ramp H3 Extreme. This is not the black edition, this is the regular edition, black and red version of it. And get to the power supply. Here's the power supply. This is a Silverstone Strider 1500 watt power supply. Uh, it's just enough to run four cards and maybe a bit more. So I don't know if you can see in there. 
Let's get up the thing. So I got two reservoir by EK. It ever focuses in. So those are the two reservoirs. I got two pumps in there, two MCP 350s. And um, set this camera down here. Try to explain what I did down here. So what I did, I couldn't. There's a little lip here on the top, so the reservoir can't really go higher than that. So I was gonna, you know, straight through, connect these with compression fittings, but there just wasn't enough room to do that. So I looped it. I looped it. Both of them. Even the pump in the back. There's a lot of uh, a lot of tubing in there, but everything works fine. So right here I shot mounted another Enermax. It's supposed to be on right now. I have no idea why it doesn't turn on anymore. It might be the fan control I'm using. So when I feel like opening the side panel and like smushing everything back in there, I'll check it out. But yeah, that's the same thing as on the Rads, a 120 millimeter uh, uh, Enermax a polish uh, Vegas fan. And here's pretty much all the graphics card. And these are all uh, 6970s. They're all water cooled. This whole computer is completely water cooled except for the RAM, which I don't think you need to water cool. So I got four 6970s. I got a fifth one, but I can only fit four. So, so that's pretty much the tour. Um, there's visible wires if you actually look in there. It's not too, too bad. Other than that, it's clean. I was supposed to sleeve these. I didn't buy sleeving yet. I'm kind of dreading sleeving all this. Uh, all this stuff because uh, there's a lot of fucking stuff in there. And I guess that's it guys.